Ами сега в мен също минава. Да, 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 сега да, да, и да, после да. в трепак. Space Challenges was born as an idea that uh, space education should be fundamentally free, accessible and relevant to the newest trends in the space industry. I have had so many conversations during the years with really intelligent individuals who somehow feel intimidated by the complexity of the space sector, that space is beyond their reach and understanding. Space Challenges is a really practice-oriented program for one reason. We truly believe that uh, only through practice you start understanding the, the basic fundamental principles and you start applying your own uh, skills into the game. I think working in teams, working uh, with practice-oriented uh, challenges, uh, struggling, failing and failing and failing is the only way that a young person would learn the skills and, uh, and the knowledge necessary for him or her in the near future to find application and profession in the space sector. So the first thing that I noticed about the, the cadets, uh, since I was interviewing a lot of them, uh, they were from all kinds of backgrounds. Uh, some of them had a lot more of the science and uh, the theory background. Uh, many of them were hands-on engineers. And we had a few who were really enthusiastic, but were just entering into the, the science and engineering side. They were a bit more into the commercial segment and were quite interesting. So we tried to split them into teams to cover all roles necessary. And the first time when I actually met them here, I was left with the impression that we've done a good job. The groups seem large, eight people, but in fact, they have a lot of different tasks to perform. So they have to build an actual prototype, but they have to do a lot of design and background for it. They have to complete their documentation so that we can actually build it if we find their documents in the future. They have to make a website where they, they put some of the information about all of this, and they even need to do their mission analysis and design. So they really have a full scope of a project that you would have in the space segment. And last but not least, they actually have to pitch it to us and they have to sell us an idea of what they're gonna do and how it's going to grow. This part of the program starts from day one and it's really amazing to see how, how each of those individuals reacts on, uh, on work under pressure for the first times in their life. It is truly incredible that year after year we are fortunate enough and really humbled by the fact that so many world leading experts and entrepreneurs and professionals from the space industry come and join the efforts of Space Challenges program. I believe there is nothing more uh, constructive than uh, mixing young talents with extremely experienced and successful entrepreneurs, scientists, technologists. I was very impressed when I came here to see this program of Endurosat. Um, from two, two ways. The one is the young people which I met over here. All of them have very open-minded setup. Uh, they are interested in things. They are not just listeners, they are also proactively interacting and I think this is very important. And the other thing is I think it's an excellent uh, uh, instrument for Endurosat also to find the best uh, uh, staff employees for the future. So both, on both sides it's good for Endurosat but it's excellent also for the students. These are people that are going to take us uh, into space. They're going to help establish human civilizations in other worlds. And in my own particular interest, they're going to take us to the stars. They're going to turn humanity from a uh, solar system species to a galactic species. I'm really excited after meeting these young people. If there was a Space Challenges program when I was uh, learning about space and when I was trying to build my own uh, entrepreneurial skills in the sector, I think it would have been tremendously positive and, and helpful. And more than anything else, to know that I'm not alone in my dream to create truly democratized access to space. They're not going to be equally spread. I believe one of the most uh, interesting aspects of Space Challenges is that we try to teach our space cadets that failure is inevitable part of the game. They will fail and fail and fail until they make it right, both in their teams, in their team projects and probably in their lives. Only through failure uh, one can excel and really improve him, him or herself in the, in the future. It's all right to fail. It's not only just all right, you're going to fail and it, as long as you learn from it to move forward. So my advice to young people, uh, such as the space cadets, 
is try the magnificent thing that doesn't sound possible. And don't be surprised if you failed, but learn from it because you'll eventually succeed. One of the things which I didn't expect to see was um, the squad working on the, um, on the ground station. I was really interested to find out that they actually built their antenna from scratch, which is the funnier part, and it works really well. I mean, we were expecting them because they had their budget allocated. We were expecting them to just uh, purchase the antenna itself, uh, but what it turned out is that they actually managed to build it from a mop. So this was something very interesting to me. It's, it's one example of, of uh, I would say, backyard engineering that might seem like crazy, but it works. And the fact is that they are able to receive signals from a satellite with this mob-built antenna. So this was very, uh, both surprising, but also impressive and interesting for me to see. The Rodopi Mountains is really an inspirational place that is in some sense close to the stars. Separating them from the everyday distractions and, and allowing them to focus on the work and on what they do I think some of them were really surprised at what they managed to achieve in such a short time. So I think Space Challenges hopefully would give this next generation of entrepreneurs and scientists and technologists more than anything else, a small community and a family that uh, where they can rely at any tough moment in their life. The most important thing I would take from the program is the connection with all the lectures and all the people from Endurosat. The collaboration skills that we build because everybody here comes with their different strengths in different areas. I would definitely take the contacts, for example, the contact of Antonio, who was quarantined with astronauts in the Star City in Russia. Staying till 2 a.m. working with my teammates uh, on our satellite prototype. During one of our late night talks with uh, Raicho, what most struck me was the fact that even though that he has achieved so much, he still puts a lot of energy and efforts uh, in educating young people about space. When I came over here, I thought I was coming for the marriage between engineering and space, but it turned out I actually I do like the theoretical bit. The Space Challenges program gave us an amazing opportunity to speak to specialists from varying fields of expertise and knowledge related to space science, which was a truly wonderful experience because otherwise we most probably wouldn't have thought that such problems exist. I mean, just high caliber people that came here to lecture us, I think that will, I will take a lot from it. I really enjoyed the whole uh, program atmosphere. Also, I appreciate uh, the opportunity to be taught by top world lecturers. I would definitely keep the connections with the people I have met with and I have worked with while being here. The best feeling was when we made the prototype working with the ground station with functional control panel sending and receiving comments and data. The future of space is looking very bright and I can see a lot of opportunities forming for the sector. The person who inspired me the most was Naeem, who taught us about deep learning and the potential applications in the space sector. The fact that space challenges actually exist in, in Bulgaria is absolutely fascinating and it, I think it really shows what Endurosat stands for.